Greetings to you all in the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. People of God, I strongly believe on this beautiful day, the Lord is going to speak to you. Amen. Let's turn our Bible to Isaiah chapter 61 verse 7. The word of God says like this so beautifully. Instead of the shame, my people will receive a double portion. You see this verse, people of God? It says, instead of the shame, my people will receive double portion. The word of God clearly says, my people. It means you and I are rich people. And the word of God says, my people who are going under shame will receive double portion. Today, the people of God who are watching me, I would like to tell you and I would like to prophesy over your life that God is going to turn all your sorrows into joy and is going to give you a double portion of blessings over you hallelujah isn't it such a joy the word of God says so clearly my people will receive a double portion it means God is very much concerned about you and me we are his creation he is the one who has created us and we are his people called by him people of God and the word of God says, I am going to give them the double portion. All these days you are longing and you are waiting when the Lord is going to bless me. When I'm going to see something good in my life. Today the Lord says so beautifully, the days of sorrow is over. You're going to see the days of joy and the days of blessings is ahead of your life. Hallelujah. The word of God goes on and says, and instead of disgrace, they will rejoice in their inheritance. What this means, instead of disgrace, it means wherever you have stepped up, you would have been a failure. Wherever you have gone, people have told you that it's all over in your life. You are not going to excel. It's finished, people would have told you. But the Lord is telling me to tell you, instead of this disgrace, my people are going to receive the joy over the life. Hallelujah. They're going to receive the joy over the life. Hallelujah. The Lord is faithful. The Bible says, 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 9 says like this, God who called you into fellowship with His Son Jesus Christ our Lord is faithful. You see this word, God who called you. It means God who called us is faithful in everything. He's able to complete that work which has begun in your life. Don't feel that it's all over. It's finished. But people of God, today the Lord says, the one who is begun that work in you is able to complete it. Hallelujah. And he's able to accomplish it over your life. Hallelujah. I strongly believe it. Our God is a God of justice. And if you are leading a life of injustice and if you see that everything is injustice around you and people are always dishonoring you and people are rejecting you, if you are feeling so much broken and rejected in your life, hold on to your faith because the Lord is faithful. He's going to lift you up. Today people can build up stories and stories against you. They could say it's all over in your life That you will never rise up But I would like to tell you The rejected stone will turn into a cornerstone Today people of God No matter what crisis you are going through Don't worry The Lord is going to lift you up like Joseph Hallelujah That's what the Bible says Instead of the shame I am going to give you a double portion Let's go back to that verse And the word of God says like this And instead of disgrace They will rejoice in the inheritance It means God has kept an inheritance for you And He wants to inherit His blessings People of God He wants to bless you He wants to lift you up Hallelujah And the Bible goes on and says like this In verse Isaiah 61 verse 7 It says And so they will inherit the double portion in their land not somewhere else in the land of your living you are going to see your blessings hallelujah the psalmist David says like this I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of living hallelujah he says in Psalm 27 verse 13 he says I will see the goodness of the Lord hallelujah it means we will see the goodness of the Lord in the place where we are hallelujah where the Lord has planted us people of God wonderful new TV viewers today I would like to tell you you 
are going to reap the blessings of God over your life. You are going to see his mighty hand. The Bible says, you will inherit, hallelujah. You are a son. Your father is a king. He's a king of kings and lord of lords. He's the almighty God, hallelujah. The more and the more we are being rejected, the more and more we are going to rise up, hallelujah. The Bible says, and the everlasting joy will be theirs. Today, all these days, if you have seen much pain in your life, hold on to your faith. God is going to lift you up. You're going to see a greatest joy over your life. Hallelujah. Whenever Paul was being put into prisons, whenever Paul was being hit and he was being thrown, he only looked to God. His hope was Christ. Hallelujah. This guy, people thought, it's all over with Paul. Finished, they thought. You know, whenever they thought it was over, Paul used to rise up and go to another place and he was preaching. Hallelujah. Today, I would like to tell you, whenever people think that it's all over in your life, you're going to rise up. You're going to rise up. You're going to rise up. Hallelujah. The Lord is going to bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. That's what the Bible says so beautifully. I can feel the strong anointing of the Holy Ghost as I am speaking to you. Verse 10 says like this. I delight greatly in the Lord. My soul rejoice in my God. For he has clothed me with a garment of salvation. Hallelujah. Garment of salvation. It means I have a complete redemption through Christ Jesus. I thank the Lord for his redemption. People of God, today whatever might be that you have planned, you might feel it's all over. I'm not going to rise up. It's finished. But I would like to tell you, he's going to clothe you with a garment of salvation. And he's going to lift you up. Hallelujah. The Bible says so beautifully. If you could turn your Bible to Revelation chapter 3 verse 7, I will read it for you. These are the words of him who is holy and true. Who holds the keys of David. What he opens, no one can shut it. And what he shuts, no one can open it. Hallelujah. We see uh, if God opens a door for you, no man can shut it, people of God. He has decided to bless you. He has decided to bless you. I strongly believe that no man can shut the door what God has opened for you. You are going to have the greatest blessing what God has kept for you. And the word of God says, I know your deeds. See, I have placed before you an open door that no one can shut it. Hallelujah. I know that you have a little strength and yet you have kept my word and have not denied my name. The word of God says so clearly, you have kept up that faith. Hallelujah. I know that you have that little, little strength, but still you believed in me. God is not looking for a super spirituality, but God is asking us to come before him with humble and to say, Lord, I am a sinner. Cleanse me. Wash me with your blood. That is all he's asking. When we come to him and when we say to him, Lord, forgive me, Lord, wash me with your blood. When we have that realization that yes, we have sinned, there is forgiveness. Hallelujah. That's what I believe always. When we realize, yes, that we have sinned, there is forgiveness from God. Today, God wants to give you the double portion over your life. He wants to give you an open door before you. He's looking for you. Today, why don't you open your heart according to Revelation 3.20? The word of God says there itself so beautifully. It says, I'll read it for you. Here I am standing at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come and eat with him and he with me. Hallelujah. It means he says, I want to dine with you and I want to have a fellowship with you. I'm standing at your door and knocking. If you could open, I want to come inside you. Hallelujah. Today, He's standing at your door and he's knocking. If you could open, he's going to come inside you and you're going to receive the double portion over your life. It means the double portion of your miracle, a double portion of blessings, the double portion of inheritance is yours. Hallelujah. It's no one else. You need to act now. 
You need to act to the voice of God. You need to open that door which has been shut for many days. And you should say, Lord, I open that door of my heart, Lord. I welcome you, Jesus. Come into my heart, Lord. All these days, I led a sinful life, Lord. But from this day, I believe you, Lord. Come into my heart, Jesus. If you could open that, he's going to come inside you. And he's going to bless you. He's going to elevate you in the place where people disown you. I will again say it. Where people have disowned you, where people have rejected you, in that same place, the Lord will anoint you with his oil and he will lift you up. Hallelujah. You are going to be a blessing. You're not a curse. Why are you saying that, brother and sister? Why are you saying that I'm a curse? I'm a curse. Always you speak about your failures. Stop speaking about your failures because God says, I have come to remove every failure from your life. Hallelujah. He wants to bless you. Today is your day. Today is your miracle. Hallelujah. I strongly believe there is an open door before you. And the Lord is going to bless you. This is the day what God has prepared for you. And I strongly believe that as we come close to him, he will draw close to us. Hallelujah. At my conclusion of my message, I would like to go back to that same verse. It says, my people shall receive the double portion. Very keenly the Lord is speaking today to many people who are watching me saying, you are my people. I want to give you that double portion what I have kept for you. People of God, just open your heart today to Jesus. Say, Lord, here am I. Come into my heart. He's going to come inside you and he's going to bless you. Amen. Amen. Do you believe that God is going to bless you with a double portion over your life? I believe that. I strongly believe. He's going to put you the garment of salvation not only the salvation is also going to give you what belongs to you what you have lost over your life today is your miracle hallelujah for one of my meetings when i was preaching in jesus calls prayer tower one sister just ran to me on the last day of my meeting that was the day she came for the meeting as i was going out she just came to me she said Brother, I would like to tell you a testimony. I asked her, what was the testimony? She said, I have eight months carrying. My husband has left me. I'm going with so much of pain in my heart. I decided before I come here for this meeting, let me visit this meeting finally and let me suicide. That was my intentions when I came. You exactly prophesied and you said, there is a sister who wants to suicide but God wants to bless you and then I decided I am not going to die but I'm going to live hallelujah today God says don't die but live don't be rejected don't be broken God wants to give you life because he's faithful she was in such a joy she said God spoke to me today whatever might be that pain what you're going through God is going to give you the fullness of joy over your life you're not going to die, but you're going to live. You want to see your children's children. Today, why don't you open your heart to Jesus? Before I pray for you, this is a wonderful opportunity for you. If you could open your heart to Jesus, He's going to come inside you and He's going to give you a double portion blessings over your life. Double portion. I said you double portion. Today is your miracle. Close your eyes. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you. I am a sinner, Lord. Forgive me. Wash me with your blood. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Come into my heart, Jesus. I am a sinner, Lord. Cleanse me. Lord Jesus, from this day, I will live for you. Lord, knowingly, unknowingly, if I have sinned against you, cleanse me, Jesus. I give my body, my soul, my spirit into your hands, Jesus. I live for you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. If you have prayed this prayer, heaven is rejoicing with you. And God is going to bless you. I'm going to pray for you. No matter whatever is your situation, the Lord is going to heal you. He's going to deliver you. And he's going to bless you. Let's look to God.
Heavenly gracious Father, I pray for this wonderful viewers who are watching me. Right now, I release your mighty power over them, Lord. I pray that your mighty hand will come upon them. You will bless them. You will elevate them, Lord. Lord, that you will change every sorrow into joy, O oh God. Every pain, every failure will turn into a success, O oh God. I pray for the homes, Lord, where people are suffering with witchcraft, with charm. I command every evil power, sir. evil darkness to lose that home, Lord. Let there be peace. Let there be harmony, O oh God. I pray for every family. Let there be a greatest joy and happiness, O oh God. Lord, on this beautiful day, I believe the miracle power of God is healing each and every one. That, that they're going to rise up, O oh God. That they're going to receive that miracle, what they need, O oh God. Every multiple disorder, organs, I command it to be healed right now. Let them be healed in Jesus' name. People who are watching me over this television, right now, the Lord is healing you. Receive your miracle. Receive your miracle. People who are not able to walk, rise up and walk. In Jesus' name, the Lord is healing you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you for healing each and every one, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Amen. God bless you and God be with you.